In 1961, the United States was hopeful, but also in a broad state of anxiety. We were moving deep into both the Cold War and the Space Age, with a broadening civil rights movement and protests against nuclear weapons. Families across the country were even encouraged to build fallout shelters in the event of a nuclear exchange with the Soviet Union. So the security we once felt as Americans was waning. On January 20th, Democrat John F. Kennedy, the youngest elected president, was administered the oath of office at his inauguration by Supreme Court Chief Justice Earl Warren. His short 14-minute inaugural address is best remembered for a single line. My fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. This call to public service resonated with what JFK called the new generation of Americans. Ham the Chimp, a 37-pound male chimpanzee, rocketed into space on January 31st. He was riding in a Mercury Redstone 2 in a test of the Project Mercury spacecraft, designed to carry United States astronauts into space. On February 15th, the entire U.S. figure skating team was flying to Prague for the World Championships when their plane crashed outside the Brussels airport in Belgium. 72 passengers, including 34 American skaters, coaches, officials, and other members of the extended team were all lost. The tragedy devastated the U.S. figure skating program and meant the loss of the country's top skating talent. The 23rd Amendment to the United States Constitution was ratified on March 29th. This amendment allowed residents of Washington, D.C. to vote in presidential elections. On April 17th, 1,400 Cuban exiles landed in the Bay of Pigs in a doomed attempt to overthrow Fidel Castro. The invasion was aided by the U.S. and ended up being a foreign policy failure. The defeat solidified Castro's role as a national hero and widened the political divide with the U.S. It also pushed Cuba closer to the Soviet Union, setting the stage for the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962. On May 4th, the original group of 13 Freedom Riders, which included seven African Americans and six whites, left Washington, D.C. on a Greyhound bus. Their plan was to reach New Orleans on May 17th to commemorate the seventh anniversary of the Supreme Court's Brown versus Board of Education decision. Along the way, the writers were attacked, beaten, and bombed as they tested the Supreme Court's ruling that segregation on buses and in bus terminals was unconstitutional. On May 5th, Astronaut Alan Shepard became the first American in space. He lifted off in the Freedom 7 spacecraft from Cape Canaveral, Florida, embarking on the first crewed space mission for the United States. On July 19th, the first ever in-flight movie was shown. The first film shown was called By Love Possessed, starring Lana Turner. The TWA flight took off from New York and was headed to Los Angeles, and the screening was held in the first-class cabin only. The Six Flags Over Texas theme park officially opened to the public on August 1st. The Arlington, Texas park was the first in the amusement park chain. The name was a nod to the six flags that had flown over the state of Texas at various times, which were France, Spain, Mexico, the Confederacy, Texas, and the United States. On September 17th, Car 54 Where Are You premiered on NBC. The show starred Joe Ross and Fred Gwynn as New York City policemen assigned to patrol Car 54.
the Beach Boys recorded their debut single, Surfin', on October 1st. This recording introduced a new musical style that launched their career and established the California sound. Also on October 1st, New York Yankees right fielder Roger Maris became Major League Baseball's all-time home run leader when he passed Babe Ruth's mark with 61 home runs. The 61st home run came off of Boston rookie Tracy Stollard in a 1-0 win at Yankee Stadium. On October 18th, the film version of West Side Story was released. The film told the story of rival gangs, the Jets and Sharks, and it became the highest grossing movie of 1961. It was also nominated for 11 Academy Awards the next year, and it won 10, including Best Picture. On November 10th, Catch-22, a novel written by Joseph Heller, was first published. The novel explores the absurdity of war through the experiences of Captain John Yossarian and his cohorts, who attempt to maintain their sanity while fulfilling their service requirements so that they may return home. The book is cited as one of the most significant novels of the 20th century. On December 11th, American involvement in the Vietnam War officially began. The first American helicopters, along with 400 U.S. service personnel, landed in Saigon. They were there to take South Vietnamese troops deep into the jungle to wage what U.S. advisors deemed to be a new kind of war, guerrilla warfare. Closing out the year, the Green Bay Packers won their first of five NFL championships during the Vince Lombardi era. The Packers shut out the New York Giants 37-0 at City Stadium in Green Bay. Over the next seven years, Green Bay would win five titles, including winning the very first Super Bowl. <laughs> 